This is David at Barnyard Bees. Thought I'd do a little video on this uh, rawbout box I have set up. I got hives that has too much honey, and I'm pulling the honey because they're getting honey bound, and the queen has nowhere to lay. So I set a box up over here, and I made sure that all the other nukes has plenty of reducers on them, so there's no problem. And I set the honey out. I got some old frames that I'm not using also. Uh, I'm raising queens, so I'm pulling some of my frames out that I'm not using because if you give them too much space, you, you will demoralize them for one. And the bees really get confused. And just from yesterday where I pulled out extra frames, the bees has already, you can tell a big difference in how they accept the box a lot better with minimal frames. And uh, the, today everything looks a lot better after I've done that. You can see they're in a robin mode. But they're calm. You put your hand up and they just find another place to fly in. They're just as calm as can be. These bees have been even more gentle than what they was in the spring. They're just, as the season goes on, they just get better and better. It seems like the only time I get stung now is when I trap one against a box or a frame. They are just super, super gentle bees. You can tell they're stinging my head. Those old mean barnyard bees. Now I do understand that people, if you are allergic to them, you have bad reactions, reactions, yes, you should have protection on. And when I, when I brag about the bees, I don't mean that everyone should be without protection. It just, some people varies. I'm fortunate. The only time I, I really do swell any is if I get stung around the eyes and, and it doesn't even swell shut, it just swells partly. But some people do. I had a, a guy come by a nuke uh, about a week ago, well, less than a week ago. And first thing he told me, he's highly allergic to them. I said, you're raising bees and you're highly allergic to them. He says, yes, he, he carries an EpiPen with him, which I thought was a little different. I never heard that. I've heard people say they react to them, but not to that degree. Uh, uh, I feel bad for people that want to beekeep and, and they do have anaphylactic reactions because that's really bad and I don't think I'd have bees at all if I reacted that bad to them I mean I get stung every day I go through several several hives every single day and you're going to trap them up against your hand occasionally one's going to hit you between the eyes and then the eye and the, as you can see I wear shorts they fly up my shorts and sting me occasionally but it's rare I'm just so used to it, it doesn't bother me. I just pulled uh, two queens out these two boxes right here and one over here to sell to a guy. You can see where the, you can see the traffic. They're actually, when you do that, you do start a robin frenzy, but you just got to make sure that you do have reducers on, very tight reducers. And ideally, it would have been better to set that out in the field. I know people comment, but that's that's the best thing. But I was in a hurry. I knew what I was doing. I knew if I reduced the, the entrance to real low, that they'd be fine. So I set them up over here. And by the end of the day, they'll have all that robbed out. And then I'll pull back some of these reducers back to where they was. But until then, they're strong enough. I mean, they're, I got them so tight that... 
only one or two bees can actually go in them, so they're in good shape. And I just fed sugar water yesterday, and I'm going to put out some salt water today in in the five gallon buckets like I do my sugar water. We have a salt pool and the family is happy with the bees trying to swim with them. So I'm going to do the same thing as I do here. I'm going to try it, see how it works. Pull out about three of these with pure salt water and set them out here right by the hives. It won't, it won't cause a robin problem because it's just salt water. Let's just see how that works. And it's been so dry. And I do have a pond, but you would think all the bees would go to that pond, but they, they just go different places. There's water, there's barrels sitting up there by the chicken pen that they go in those and barrels over there and the swimming pool. And they just go to various places to find water. They won't go to one place. So I'm going to set a salt water bucket there and one here and one over by those hives. Let's see how it does. Well, I just want to do a little update. Thanks for watching.